Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to highlight a moving object or character using PowerDirector 10. A highlight can either be an image that is layered on top of your footage or an effect that you apply to the footage. Whichever highlight option you choose, you'll need to create a motion path so that the highlight follows the movements of the object or character that you are highlighting. And these motion paths are created by applying the keyframes found in PIP Designer and the Effects Room. You can either create a circle on a transparent background in any Photoshop type of program, or find a circle on a transparent background on the web. Or go to the link in the description box for this tutorial to access a zipped folder that contains a number of various circles and arrows on transparent backgrounds. Once you have your circle image, import it into PowerDirector's media library. So let's get started by creating a simple circle highlight. With your footage in track number one, place the highlight circle in track number two. Now click on Modify to open PIP Designer. Then click on the Add Edit Motion tab and click on the green X to create a custom motion path. And now we can size and position our highlight circle. What I like to do next is to go to the end of the clip and establish the ending size and position. OK, now we can begin to create a motion path for our highlight circle. Move the scrubber ahead and click on the Add Keyframe button. Whenever you reach a point where you see that the subject is outside of the circle, because either the subject has moved or the camera has moved. Once you've added the new keyframe, reposition the circle. Then continue down the timeline, adding new keyframes and making circle and position adjustments as needed. And then repeat this procedure as you work your way down the timeline. And that's the basics of creating a highlight. Adding keyframes to establish a motion path and then positioning your highlight at each keyframe so that the highlight follows the action. When you're done, your keyframes may look something like this. Another option is to use some of the effects in the effects room to create a highlight. In this example, we'll use the spotlight effect. Drag the Spotlight effect down into the Effects track, and then adjust its duration to match the clip. Then, click on the Modify button to open the Effects Settings room, and then click on the Keyframes button. As we can see, the interface looks a little different than PIP Designer, but the keyframe principle is exactly the same. On the left side, there's a list of size and position parameters for the effect and each parameter is represented by a keyframe. So first, let's set the width of the spotlight effect, then the height, so that the effect is at our desired size. Next, we can adjust the brightness or intensity of the spotlight. Then, click on the Position button and position the spotlight at this first keyframe. Now. Move the scrubber ahead to the end of the clip, and then just click on each keyframe to duplicate all the parameter adjustments of the first keyframe. And now it's just a matter of setting and adjusting and filling in the rest of the keyframes as needed. And when you're done, 
your highlight will look something like this. Another option is to utilize some of the other effects in PowerDirector's effects room and then modify them to serve as a highlight. These effects include color focus, inverse blur, or maybe even the magic star effect. There are many options to create a highlight, so just dive in and experiment, and find the method that works best for you.